Hello, I'm Brian, and I'm here at Airstream headquarters in Jackson Center, Ohio. And I'm gonna walk you through the differences between the 16 foot and the 20 foot Airstream base camp. If you're already familiar with Basecamp, you know that it's our most rugged and ready for anything travel trailer that's made to go off grid with you. Basecamp was originally designed as a 16 foot long travel trailer. And we added the 20 foot floor plan for those who want more room to sleep, entertain and eat inside. It's worth noting that Basecamp 20 isn't just longer, it's also wider and taller. So let's take a look at each floor plan and see how they compare. The biggest difference between the Base Camp 16 and the Base Camp 20 is space and the layout. When you walk into the 16, you've got your kitchen to the right, bathroom straight ahead, and the lounge and sleeping space to the left. When you walk into a 20, you have an extra panoramic lounge to the right. The curved table in the middle pivots for easy access. Your bathroom remains in the same spot, and your kitchen is spread across both sides, with storage flanking the bathroom and appliances directly left of the entry door. Then you have a similar lounge area. It's just a little bit bigger version on this side than the 16. In the 16, the two rear benches can function as single beds on their own or combine into one rear-spanning bed that's spacious enough for two. Your tables become your supports, and the back cushions fill in the center gap. In the 20, you still have those benches that can be converted into a bed in the same way. Then, in the front lounge area, you have an extra bed. The curved table acts as support again. That makes the 20 great for trips with friends who like their own sleeping spaces, or one bed for the parents and one for the kids. Both lounges feature built-in storage compartments on the entry door side for gear, luggage, anything you want to tuck away. And let's talk about the kitchen. In the Base Camp 16, we've designed the kitchen to curve around the front of the travel trailer with a view out of those beautiful panoramic windows. Your two burner gas stove has a tempered glass cover, so it can double as extra counter space when you're not cooking. Then you have a large round sink with a modern faucet. Under the counter is your optional microwave, all electric refrigerator, and storage for your pots, pans, dishes, and food. There are even some cubbies for maps, tools, and shoes in this area. In the Base Camp 20, your kitchen spans across the travel trailer with your two burner gas stove, sink, and storage on one side and your refrigerator on the other. In the 20, you get a little extra fridge space. Above the fridge is your optional microwave. Both base camps really elevate your camp cooking game. Moving on to the bathroom. Both base camp floor plans have what we call a wet bath, which means the whole space is designed to get wet. That makes it super easy to clean and keep clean and really maximizes your space inside the travel trailer. In the Base Camp 20, the overall height of your travel trailer is greater, so you end up with a taller bathroom. The overall height from the ground to ceiling is at six foot, seven inches. Next to the bathroom, the 20 also offers you some additional storage with plexiglass doors to help keep everything contained. Now let's talk about some features that'll keep you comfortable and charged up for the next activity. In both the Base Camp 16 and 20, air conditioning is optional and that comes with a heat strip to warm the travel trailer without using the furnace. When you want to warm up, your furnace runs on propane. There are also tank heaters to keep your tanks from freezing in cold weather areas, and you can choose to run those independently from heating the Base Camp interior. Speaking of tanks, the Base Camp 20 has more overall capacity in the freshwater, gray water, and black water tanks, so you can go longer before needing to refill or empty. Solar power is optional on both the 16 and the 20, enabling you to stay off grid for longer. That power will supplement your battery operated devices you can charge at USB ports and plugs throughout the base camp. Moving on to storage, both the 16 and the 20 have upper storage racks with flexible fabric and metal bars you can easily clip a carabiner to. You can hang everything from a helmet to a wetsuit up there. 
And if you're going off the beaten path, of course you'll want to bring your gear. The Basecamp 16 is perfect for bringing your bikes, for which you can load from the rear. With the Basecamp 20, you get a few extra feet to pack in even more gear, like the longer kayak or paddleboard. And when you're done for the day, you simply roll down the blackout curtains on each window. We've made this low tech on purpose to conserve power when you're off grid. You also have a roll down rear hatch screen and a sliding entry door screen so you can let that fresh air flow through. The rear hatch also features built-in storage, a privacy snap-on curtain, and a whiteboard. From the outside, size is the biggest difference between the Basecamp 16 and the Basecamp 20. Both have the iconic riveted aluminum exterior shell. At each entry door, you can use the latch to keep it open whenever you like. The LP shroud on both floor plans houses two 20-pound LP tanks and a place for a hose or power cable on top. Around what we call the roadside, you'll have your tanks, exterior storage compartments, power ports, and water fills. There's also a plug for an additional freestanding solar panel. Both floor plans have heavy-duty stabilizer jacks, skid guards, and a spare tire stored underneath the travel trailer. On the curb side of the 16, you have a pass-through to bring the interior shower head outside to rinse off gear or to take an outdoor shower. On the 20, you have a dedicated exterior shower with both hot and cold controls. You can choose what we call the X package on both floor plans. And that comes with a three inch overhaul lift, a greater departure angle to help you climb steep hills, more aggressive tires, and stainless steel rock guards on the front. On the 20X, there's also a second entry step to account for the added height. That's your side-by-side -side comparison of the Basecamp 16 and the Basecamp 20. Your Airstream dealer can show you more features and answer additional questions. So head over there next. Thanks for watching. Get out there and hit the trails.